As our friends, welcome. We're trying out stuff for the regional championship standard this weekend. And of course, I'll be there at DreamHack. And don't forget to stop by on Friday. I'm, I'm going to be uh, doing a streaming booth on Friday from 10 to 12. And a meet and greet uh, at the Anthros booth. The Anthros chair booth, my sponsor. I believe from 5 to 6. The time isn't locked in yet. Double check on my Twitter or whatever. Uh, I'll post about it. But it should be really, really fun. So... This is a list from Aaron Barrick, and Aaron, uh, she used to be a player on the SG Tour back in the day, and she worked for Riot for quite a few years, uh, making Runeterra. Unfortunately, got let go, uh, alongside my good friend Frank Scarin, has gotten back into playing Magic, and she's a real, real good mind for the game. Just like has a real, like, off-kilter mind. She's playing in the RC and been posting uh, deck lists on her Twitter and stuff. I just saw this deck, and I was like, I gotta give this thing a spin. Uh, she's very enamored with, with Singer Back Terror. And uh, it's a card that people aren't really playing. So when a good player is interested in a card that no one's playing, it's a cool, cool spot to be. And I'm just a big fan of freaking Corpses of a Lost. So you have Corpses of a Lost here alongside Cult Conscript and Forsaken Mind over Skeletons. Kind of just like an aggro black red deck. Pretty interesting looking deck here. Looks really, really cool. I want to give it a spin. And uh, just a lot of cool things happening between uh, cards that aren't played very often. And uh, let's just try it and see what happens, right? So that's the deck. Let's get right to the games. Brought to you by Cool Stuff Inc. is proud to sponsor Jim Davis. We offer great deals on card games, tabletop RPGs, board games, and more. Get a free token featuring Jim Davis and take 5% off your next order if you use the code JIM5 at checkout. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. All right, let's get aggressive. Chat coming out. Me winning a die roll. Good place to be. Fee, new sub. What's your from Welcome. We got Miner Coyote Kumano. Uh... This hand's kind of gas. We can... Huh. Definitely a keep. It's very interesting, like, sequencing-wise. Like, what are we playing first, you know? Could go Miner into Coyote, but then we're not playing Kimono. I play Kimono on one. If I cast the Coyote on two, it doesn't do anything. So, like, it's not even that good. Uh, could just be Miner on one, Coyote on two. Yeah, I'm gonna keep. Uh, Find a mulligan twice. That was fast. So I'm pretty sure we're just minor coyote. We'll just play Kamado later. Yeah, let's do that. Die over six on turn two is pretty good, so. Good old cunning coyote. Okay. Opponent's playing freaking merfolk. Uh, sure. Merfolk it is. Alright, so, here's a Cunning Coyote. And we will, uh, target the Miner and attack. I guess they just block here. So, it's only 5 out of 6. I don't know why I added it. Or that. No blocks, though. Opponent's playing Deep Root Pilgrimage. There's a combo with this card in standard with the, the, the untappy Merfolk. They're just gonna get in and do the thing. I guess we, like, should've saw this coming, because, like, it's all face up, but... Sure. Part of the allure of playing weird cards, obviously, is that your opponent doesn't know what they're doing. Or non-token creature, we can just kill this. So, we're just gonna play, uh, we're just gonna attack. Probably gave him a free token here, didn't, didn't need to, but, uh, and then we're just gonna kill a scout and play a Kamano and just say go, I guess, so. Could have a protection spell, so we're not on, on, on the untap. And play this and this. And just say go. All right, I guess, sure. Uh, so we're gonna bring some removal spells and cut like, we're on the draw. We cut the Bronco on the draw. Like, I don't even know. <laughs> uh, I want, I want these bolts, like, We'll strangle minor creatures, beats. Brocco is certainly a little worse on the draw. It's still pretty good, though. Yeah, I got the Broncos and maybe a Corpses on the draw. I don't even know, honestly. Let's try this. Alright. Terrible hand. Still a piece of garbage. We're mulligan. Also a bad end. All right, go to five. Point mold to five in that first game. All right, go to four. All right. Cool. All right, 
I mean, I guess Stinger Back Terror is good on four, right? I think we just keep land, removal spell, land, land, removal spell, terror. And just, like, just make it happen. Uh, sure. All right. Can our four-card hand win the game? We're going to find out. Stinger Back Terror. Let's do it. Opponent. What are we doing here? Clap some bacon on a biscuit and let's go. It's turn one. Burning daylight. Play a land. Whatever. Say go. Cool. Alright, so I'm go. Just playing our tower correctly. Just ball get a four. Do the thing. What in God's name is happening? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another stinger. That's not where you want to be. I'm just going to plop this. Um, could set up a hasted terror, possibly. So, here's a hex catcher. Sure. This counters non creature spells. Milling over each. Right, we draw a land at least. That's good. Um, just gonna plot. Just gonna plot and say go. Let's set up for like coyote on the dragon. So just say go. This is fun. Can't give two things haste, unfortunately. If I draw a land for the uh, hard guest. Stinger back terror. In four four, say go. We draw another land. Uh all right. Gonna start by just bolting their Hex catcher and seeing what happens. Honestly, I just have no idea what's going on here. Just couldn't even tell you. <laughs> like. Alright, I will uh, decline to pay the one. Thank you very much. Cast Stinger back to her? They're playing counter spells? They're playing like. Alright, I mean, I guess you got me. So, they're going to make Disappear Sacrifice in their creature. They have four cards left. So we're going to win this game, I think. Like, is that ridiculous? We're all the four of this game. Sentinel of the Nameless City. Yeah, whatever. All right, sure. Here. Guess this. Play Coyote. Give it haste. You want to win a Magic, folks? Just mulligan to four, so your dragon's awesome. Waka, waka. Almost feel bad for my opponent. Uh, mulligan to four and take it down easy. One out. On the point. Another, like, kind of mediocre hand, but I think we're going to keep. It's like one I have threats in this deck, you know? Just can't draw too many... Uh, Lance and or kill spells. Cult Cons gonna go here. Alright, so All right, Broncos a insane draw. Uh, like I wanna hold Sokazan. I think it's more threatening than talking to him is, so. Dark Bronc Broncodent. Bronc 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 I was wondering if I could put a little saddle on your back and ride you like a horsey. Alright, right to combat. Ah, so actually, I, I, I can't think. Right? I can saddle. If they have no more, eh, whatever, they have no more lives. Go ahead. Go ahead. Ooh, that resolve too. Oh, dark confidant. Let's go. All right, nothing but sure. Just no lockdown, please. If they have a lockdown. I'll be super sad. The saddest ever. Please, God, don't do it. I'm begging you. Please. Please, 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 please. 
But the Harvester is still in standard. Not for long, though. Rotation's coming in like two months. Bloomborough. Ah, that's scary. <laughs> I mean, opponent's got... Jace Perfected Mind. You got it. Alright, let's discard a, uh, just whatever, a land, uh, removal spell, and draw a Forsaken Miner, a Cunning Coyote, holy shnikes, uh, alright, I'm just putting it all out there, folks, I need to have land to populate, even then we're getting for a bunch of damage too, so, cast this, Pump this up. Get in. All at you. Draw a Mirix. Pretty cool. They go down to three life points, and we have a Sokazon and a Mirix. Need to go. They need to go land to populate over dead. I draw a card, and then I have Sokazon. Oh, there we go. Bingo. Taste it. Blue eye control. Duress. 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 Forge. 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 Hell yeah. Cut down. Out. Strangle. Out. Shoot the sheriff. Out. Uh. I want to keep, like, probably two go for the throat in the deck. 24 lands. I'm still okay hey, cutting a land here. Uh, this Imagine where Terror does not seem very good. It's, like, really bad against Wandering Emperor. Uh, yeah, sure. I also don't, 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 don't hate, hate Hearse against them, either. Just, like, a, a threat they can't wrath. Eats Sturges. I mean, Deluges, too. Oh, yeah, you're right. Shoot. Sheriff is better than Go for Throw because of some, some fall tokens. I'm going to bring in a horse and cut a, uh, a terror. Terror seems really bad against them, so. You scream louder than fiction. Get down on your knees. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Minor Coyote Forge. Uh, keep. Sands of Stones. Draw Kamano. That's so awkward. And the sequencing with Kamado is very awkward in this deck, right? So I only have one black. So if I can go Kamado on one, and then Minor Duress on two, that'd be insane, but I can't. Uh, but if I play Minor on one, and then go Duress uh, Minor on two, I'm sorry, Duress Kamado on two, I want to Forge on three, so I'm wasting the counter from Kamado again. Ugh. Awkward. Um... I could duress on one and then minor a uh, same problem. Ugh. I could just go Kamano into Coyote into Forge, I guess. That's fine. I, then, I, then I lose then I lose, I lose a point on the counter on the, on the Coyote counter though. Shit. Uh, I'm just gonna play freaking minor, whatever. I'm... Clock's going here. It's turn one. I can't figure out what to do. You just draw a black land. That'd be cool, too. So. Yeah, I think we'll just Kamado and Duress. Wow. And march the Miner, damn. Ooh, boy. Uh, the problem is I kind of want to Duress them before I, before I Bronco. Uh, I don't want to look. Their hand is... Get lost. Sunfall, a bunch of lands. Okay. So, land Kamano. Armstrong says, enjoying your stream. Got to meet you at, at RC Atlanta in December. Hope to see you at another regional. I'll be grinding Pioneer for your LGS for the month of June. Sweet. Y'all yeah, be in Dallas. All right, they play land. We draw Forsaken Miner. I mean. All right. I think we're going to just going to punt this counter. And just play the uh, the forge. I could haste the Bronco at some point. It'd be kind of cool. They have to get lost, but otherwise I could just play. Yeah, I'm just play forge. They have to get lost up and nothing else. So we'll lose a counter, whatever. Could also minor coyote, but like that also makes lots of lots of lots of get lost. If you're freaking no more lies here, I'm gonna punch something. So I'm playing in Dallas. I have no idea I'm playing in Dallas. Just try a bunch of stuff. If I had to submit a deck right now, it would probably just be blue light control. My name is Jim Davis, Pro Magic player, full-time content creator. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, support the content, please. This is my uh, 
It's my gig, folks. It's how I pay the bills, all right? So your support makes that possible. And if you, if you hit the like button, leave a comment. It helps done. All right, so take damage. Buy another anchorage. Drop horses of a lost? That's gas. I love this card. I think this card's awesome. Really underrated card, I think. Let's cast it. Drew Counterspell, it sucks. They obviously have, have a Ganjo and Get Lost here, but, like, it's totally fine. They can obviously Get Lost the enchantment, but, like, whatever. You know, it's fine. Oh, get the subs. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Hubbard. Forging. Coming in? Sure. That was great, honestly. So, the skeleton can't attack, but I get two maps now, and I still have a great board. You got Forge, you got four power in play, you got some maps. You got a Coyote for haste. We can set it for, like, Coyote plus Bronco uh, on a post, like, Sunfall turn. Hi from Brazil. What's up, my friend? Alright, let's, uh... Let's start mapping, honestly. Davin, a new sub. What's your name? Welcome. Map onto etchings. Harvester, keep it on top. Then we're going to map onto this guy. So I think they both act through the anchorage. Cool. Land. I think we're going to plot the coyote. Attack for eight, plot coyote. Nine, sorry. Forge is good. This card's a banger. That's sick. Alright. Indeed. Not right now, but soon. They didn't use a ganjo. They're gonna deluge. Probably if they wrath, like they just die. Die to coyote, forge. So that's kinda guess. They got a march for the token. I feel like I'd want a creature land or two, though. I think, like, no creature land seems a little light. I know tap lands aren't the best, but... Also, like, there's a lot of basics in this deck, and the mana's a little awkward. Yeah, not even Farewell does it, right? Usually Farewell covers all your bases, but not Plot. Definitely Devons is love for Rectus Aggro and Standard. Happy to finally catch a stream to sub. Love the content. Keep the good work. Thanks, friend. Appreciate it. If you're a new sub, please join the Discord. Uh, we do free games in there with prizes. Uh, we do freaking events. People are hanging out, chilling, playing games. It's awesome. All right. We got a Ganjo and a bunch of mana up. They can't Emperor and a Ganjo. I could just, like, push the issue here. Just go, just go Bronco Coyote and see what happens. Uh, they kind of can't beat everything here, I feel like. I'll just go nuts. Here's a Bronco. I have a harvester and crew. I, 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 that's Betsy's bad because like if they kill it, it's kind of bad. But let's play the coyote. Like this is a huge attack. Pop and haste the bronco. Yeah, we're just gonna attack here. Because if I if they if they do have some way to win this game, it definitely involves killing the bronco before it attacks. Uh, in which case, uh, it would suck. If they have final showdown. I mean, they got me. I don't know what to say. Yeah. Here, it's Hidebinder the Forge. Okay. Start. We're attacking everything. Dark Confidant. Old Conscript. Okay. I mean... Tidebinder has to block here, and the Forge ain't going anywhere, so... Once they block, the ability goes away, or comes back, I mean, so that's kind of cool. And they're going to march, targeting the token for one. They have another removal spell here, too. So I guess if I had crude, they'd be at four. It's not necessarily worth them. And just, damn. All right. 
Let's hear it for our opponent. They had to have basically all of it, and they did. So good for them. Uh, we're gonna play a uh, non-skeleton driving so we can play the, the Colts. Shout out against Sunfold. I think Conscript's easier return than Miner is. So play this thing. So you go. You got Sunfall, We have the Forge. So Forge back online because High Miner's dead. Mommy, uh, don't think that's good enough. Oh, they have a, they should, they'd be, they'd be Andrew's dead, so. All right, yeah, so, bringing Elstorm's kind of weird, right? Like, doesn't seem very good against us, but sure. You're dead. After it was all over, he took us in the house of service pancake. Two and out. Lightning to your three, here we go. Going for a three out. Let's go. Beats dragons. I am a big fan of Forsaken Miner, I'm not gonna lie. Do 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 Captain Jack resub. Thanks so much. Kumano. Alright, so you can try against Mono Red here. Oh, triple one drop draws. Unfair. Unfair. This card also seems unfair against them. Just like a monster creature. Who's the aggro deck now? <laughs> Scampin. Scamp with a counter. That's actually really good against my board. Uh, sure. Bronco. This is fine. Talking about everything. Get two for one, but all, all my things come back anyways. It's fine. Um, and then we'll probably plot the dragon. If we're going to take it. Am I dead? <laughs> um, I feel like if I'm dead, I'm going to just let them kill me. I could just strangle it. It would kill one of my creatures, but... So yeah, like that's a pretty uh a pretty juicy block for them. So them not blocking is terrifying. This card effectively has double strike, because they can just sacrifice it and double deal double damage. Yeah, I'm just too scared I'm to kill this. I'm a coward. They could have like snakes and everything like that too, but if I didn't have a good play here in Bronco, I would not do this. I if I if I drew a land, I would just plop the terror. But because we have a good fuller play in Bronco, we're gonna do that. So kills the miner, whatever. I agree we're, we're probably, we might have not been dead there, but I'm just scared, honestly. I think this is fine. Scamping. I like scamp. Cool card. Hard cast, slick shot, show off, attack. Our opponent is a psychopath. Uh, all right, you got it. We draw a Blood Death Harvester. Uh, I kind of want to plot this, but like we can just crew an attack. If I plot this, then it won't attack till two turns from now. It's just like slower than just like trying to kill them. So. She blinds everybody with a super high beam. She's a squirrel squasher deer smacking driving machine. That's a good draw. Uh, all right. You go to four. Could die this turn, I guess, but that would be annoying. Um, I'll just say go, I guess. Kill me. They missed a land drop. They go like land spell spell. I could if they, they go swift spear land spell spell. That would probably kill us actually. That's uh that's where they want to start. So that is three six seven eight. Nope. Yeah, they would need they would need a, a land and, and then a monstrous rage. 
would have been 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I still not enough, honestly. And that also puts you just dead on board. All right, well, whatever, I guess. So, haha, you're dead, so. And, uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, Bronco, sure. So, uh, that's it for you, my friend. I have the high ground. Still playing, though. Gotta make the right block. All right. Ooh, weird game. Uh, <laughs> Opponents seem to have a bit of a death wish there, but let's bring in our cut down and our two bolts. Probably want to cut corpses of a loss against them. Do I want the consumes all? I would say no. Kills my shit too. Forge. Yeah, it's fine. Let's do this. Ugh. Maybe mulligan a lot too, or winning. I also feel like our opponents haven't played very well either, but uh, all right, we're going to mulligan. Hands great keep. Uh, I think I'm drawing corpses here. Dark Confidant, Big Dragon, two removal spells. Cutdown's a phenomenal draw. I guess it's not because they have the counter from Kamano. They go land slick shot here. I can't even kill it. I have these things easy to kill it, but they scam it. Sure, that's fine. And another Kamano. Sure. Okay, so. I guess we're just playing Bronco. Want Duress? Duress is viable against them. Duress is pretty good against, like, Pump Spell, Aggro Dex. Uh, on the draw, especially. I can see bringing Duress. I like that. Like, two, maybe two, to two or three Duresses. That's a good idea. Make a little noise here, huh? Come on, I can't hear you! Very interesting. So, this is a real who's the beatdown kind of spot. Taking six here puts us to ten. They have another creature next turn also. We have a couple kill spells and a big dragon. Bronco obviously draws cards, but could lose opposite a block here. We're just gonna like kill two things, play a big dragon, ride, ride to victory. To block. No monsters rage, thankfully. Here's cult conscripts. What's up? Uh, plot dragon or play creature kill creature work 12 hard casting dragon is also very very reasonable too it's kind of annoying how the backside of this is against the uh, cult but I'm just going to play this as I go they're currently mono red right now too yeah ply dragon is very scary they have a good uh, they have a good uh, combination of cards here Slick shot show off. Okay. That's not a mercenary, actually. This is where you belong. Outlaw. Alright, so. Kill the show off. Yeah, their hatch is bad. Alright, untap. Draw concept. Play the same turn, so I go. Lead back old cult, culty on defense here. They found the green. They have a snakeskin veil. We have gotten punished. Audacity. So, they're trying to give us the audacity. So, if I, gave, if I kill the creature response, then they will not draw a card because they will never hit the graveyard. Or I can't resist that. Kill this. We take three off of these with spear, but whatever. Ideal draws an untapped land, but we can leave back both conscripts also. It's all about that dragon. Ooh, that's bad. 
They're going to play Stolen Goodies, make us a 6-7. That's not the best not the best for us, but sure. The Sulphur Springs right on time. Of. Uh, here's our Dragon. Here's Kamano. And here's Lent. All right, so that's all, that's all of our eggs in the basket. Uh, I only have one card in hand. I'm only back a shot blocker. If they have some way to pump this, I don't want to block with the dragon. It's not great, though. Oh, they're putting us to the test. They're putting us to the test. We're still in Monster's Rage anyway. All right, whatever. What do you got? Good old fashioned GG giant growth. Just enough to survive. Throw yourself in next time and rid us of your stupidity. Go for the throat. That was a good draw. Uh alright, I'm gonna kill Star tapped out. And just say go. We are living on the edge of a knife, but we are living at the moment. No attacks. That's like not that bad, actually. Bad against trample spells, but. You're up, friend. 12 to 5. Sis beer. Not good. Double attack. You've activated my trap card. We got giant growth of dead. Go nuts. The Royalist of Treatments. Alright, well, that sucks. Down to three. Draw a Forsaken Miner, but cannot block. Alright, guess we're back on the old defensive plan here. I'll just say go. We can return a Conscript if the Etchings dies. Blue Rooster says, hello, Jim. Big time YouTube fan. Someone around me gives me a sub. Thought I'd pop by. Stop by. First time here. Everyone's I had a Blue Rooster. First time chatter. Welcome, friend. Happy to have you. No, stop doing this. Stop with the stolen goodies. This double strike? Yeah, we're fucking dead. Alright. Uh. Yeah. It's not good. There are 10. Uh. Shit. Alright, just gonna keep playing. You're up. Still trying to win this game somehow. It's me and my little buddies here. Here's the Ruiner. Feeling pretty ruined. Alright, All right, game three. Um, I think I like some duresses. I think I agree. We're going to bring in like the corpses of the lost. Bring in like a few duress. I don't want to cut though. I mean, I was going to land. Our curve is just super low at this point. Sure. Call in, I'm greedy. Alright. Uh yes, please. I imagine the Hidetsu consumes all uh is for the Boros matchup, correct? It does kill a lot of our own stuff, but I'm actually bored that stuff out against them. Scampin'. Ooh, Bronco. A 3-3 Bronco is something fierce. I can't turn that down. Can't say no. 3-3 three, three Bronchodon. 
Damn good riding with you. Not now, but soon. All right, uh, flip this bad boy. This guy does come in tap, so I can't saddle, but... This also exiles this, which is kind of gas, too. Uh, let's stack. Top card is a uh, stinger back terror. You're at 16, and they have a slick shot show off available. I think I need to kill some stuff here, actually. Let's just uh, kill this thing. Exiles it, no trigger. If they can kill me for 15 this turn, so be it. You know, go ahead, kill me. Swift Spear. It is pretty funny how similar the Bronco is to, uh, to Pain Seer, and Pain Seer was so bad. We could die here. That's seven. Maybe not. Opponent is getting in. Big time. Let me draw Black Lupus. Damn. All right, um, huh. can saddle up an attack and just hard cast this terror. Probably where we gotta go. Now we ride. <laughs> Top card. Take a mountain or a castable. That's neither. Kind of all in here on the uh, the beautiful wings of our Stingerback Terror. It's going to be a 5-5. Five, five. Kind of anti with Dark Confidant, right? Oh, 6-6, six, six, sorry. It's big. Blocks show off pretty well. But they have, like, Spell Spell in the hammer. They're probably just dead here, honestly. At 7 life. They have, like, a single Giant Growth or two. Maybe I was a bit hasty on the strangle. I should have just held that. That scamp wasn't, wasn't very important, honestly. I think I might have thrown something away. I think it was a bad play. Whoops. Whoopsie. There's audacity. Got a block. Card's pretty wild, yeah. Royal treatment, sure. Exactly lethal? Ugh. Yeah, we punted that game pretty bad, I think. Um, we definitely need to... Uh, what did I say? Uh, hold that strangle. We just kill, we, we kill this, this, the, we kill the... Uh, where'd it go? Uh, we kill the, the show off. Oh, it died, right. If we kill the show off uh, the turn after they play it, this game's easy, actually. So, the scamp didn't mean anything. That was, that was a bad play. Probably should have won that one. All right, so uh, went two and one. Could have, probably should have been three zero if I played better. His next got a gas. I think the mana base is a little sketchy. Uh, seven swamps and five mountains is not a modern day mana base. Uh, but there's a lot of cards here that I like, and just kind of simple, aggressive. Just kind of getting in, doing its thing. Has a pretty reasonable plan against uh, control and stuff, and that's pretty sweet. I like it. If you're an aggro player, give someone a spin for sure. So more to play on stream. YouTube folks love you. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace.